This is my PhD in chemistry. And this is the S orbital explained. Remember that the electron density distribution produces three-dimensional shapes known as orbitals, which represent the probabilities of locating an electron. Now that we've delineated the numbers behind the electron shells, subshells, orbitals, and suborbitals, for electrons, let's get into their shapes. Every atom has one S orbital, since it is the orbital that corresponds to L equals zero, and M sub L is also zero. Looking closely at this S orbital, we can see that it is spherically shaped, which is a good way to remember it. But does the shape of the s orbital change as n increases? While the basic spherical shape remains the same, as the principal quantum number n increases, the orbital's energy and size expand. Consequently, the electron density becomes more dispersed, enlarging the sphere and increasing the likelihood of finding the electron farther from the nucleus. Click the link at the bottom of the screen to see the full YouTube video. If you learned something new, please like and comment what you enjoy because it really does help spread the knowledge.